Alright guys, so what I got today is a PS3 Blu-ray drive, the fat PS3. This might work for Slims, I don't know. Um, what you're going to want to do first, flip it over, take out that screw. Oops, I missed a screw. That screw, that screw, that screw, and where am I at? That screw. So, let me get this other one out really quick. Alright, next is a little pull tabs right here. Pull it forward a little bit. It, you may think you're bending it, but you're not. That's how it comes off. case comes off. Here is almost the inside of your drive. This wire right here, be very careful of it. Um, this is your disc sensor. It's what pulls the disc in to let your drive know there's a, a disc ready to be played. Um, if you break it, it's not very expensive. It's a couple bucks on eBay. I had to order one. Um, as I, I guess I pulled too hard on it, and, uh, here we are. But anyways, um, let's undo this screw right here first. Get that out of the way. get this sticker off. Hold on. Alright, so I'm just going to leave this plugged in. You guys may want to unplug it. Um, a pair of needle nose pliers don't pull on the wire. So do not do it. It'll rip out of that little socket there. And uh, wherever my screwdriver went, as you can see, this clip, it won't focus right. What the hell? This clip here, well, I guess that's the best we're going to get is no bigger than a two millimeter flathead so alright what you're going to want to do next there's a screw here there's one there another one there one there one there go ahead and take those out I'm going to pause the video Alright guys, so once we've got that off, um, you guys may want to go ahead, take out that screw right there, um, then this whole top dealy with your sliders will come off. Huh, which that's not even latched right. Whoever put this together is a fucking moron. This was repaired, I believe, by Endless Electronics. Um, it lasted the guy about a week. Um, I just did a yellow light of death repair on one of the systems. Um, another one I did last night. I bought two of them from him for 50 bucks. I have one working so far, and uh, I'm going to have another one working here too. Anyways, um, so you're going to want to go ahead and take that screw out. That whole top assembly is going to come off. Then this little slider rail here, um, this black dealy right here, this whole thing will be able to come out and then what the whole purpose of this is is um, right there's your laser if you look to the side right there those uh, five solder points right there um, trying to focus in on them it's not working if you're looking at it from this way now that's a little better that bottom one's your ground um, I forgot what the top two were for but the one immediately to the left that is your um, DVD PS2 game uh, laser 
Um, it's a dual laser. It's got the Blu-ray and then the regular DVD. Anyways, the one on your right that is for the um, that is for the Blu-ray. You're gonna want to go ahead and reflow those with your solder gun. Um, eight out of ten times, almost nine out of ten times, this uh, does work and it does uh, bring your PS3 Blu-ray drive back to life. Um, I I read it somewhere. Um, I've never heard anybody talk about it. Was very very skeptical. I was um yeah so I decided I'd experiment with it I mean why not it's a dead drive what's the worst that's gonna happen well the worst that's gonna happen is uh, you're gonna have your PS3 working again fully um, <laughs> those five solder points right there oh that's a way better picture right there on the side all fat PS3s they will be exactly in that same spot slims I'm not so sure but um yep right there middle one on the bottom right there is your ground left is your DVD PS2 right is your blu-ray which falls into PS3 games too because they're blu-rays and then anyways then you go ahead and just put it back together um, make sure you be careful of this wire right here like I said and um, when you put your game or when you put it back together if you're having a problem getting a disc inserted um, it pushes in just fine, meaning these are opening, but it's not pulling it. You pull it on this wire too hard or it came unplugged. Um, if you try to push it in and it just won't budge, it's because of this right here. You'll have to take it out, take it all the way up, out of there, take that screw out, and then while it's in your hand, push this all the way back and let it hit right there, and then uh, put it back together, and you got it working. Um, also, be careful of the ribbon cable that goes on the bottom of this. They're very fragile. Um, so, that's it for this video. Um, it's pretty easy to put back together. You just put this top cover back on if you took it off, which um, you should have. And then um, the rest of the five screws that go in, you know, to hold the top case in. And then the other, uh, yeah, the other five on the bottom. And um, so, that's it for this video. I hope this helps you guys. Um, again, five solder points on the side, bottom ground, left PS2, DVD, right, Blu-ray, PS3 games. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe.